Good morning, good afternoon and good evening from wherever you're watching this from. My name is Romany and yes, we are back in the living room. We are back in the living room watching Supernatural. Uh, everyone's gone out, they've gone for a walk and I thought perfect moment to sit back and get some filming done. So I'm sat in the living room, I've got the house to myself, I've got a packet of Monster Munch, a Nature Valley bar and a cup of tea. <laughs> so we are going to get this done. This is um, season one, episode 17. I think we're in Texas. Um, this is called Hell House. Last episode, if you remember, we did see John. They, The boys found their dad, or the dad turned up. Um, Meg turned up as well. Ugh, uh, horrible old Meg. Um, and it looks like the dad, I've got food in my hair, looks like the dad is closing in on whatever killed their mum, Mary, Sam's girlfriend, Jessica. Hold this episode, shall we? Oh, okay. I agree, Puff. I am so not going in there. I'm not going to say teenagers. They look old enough to know better. <laughs> Uh, just found like a cabin in the woods, an old, scary looking cabin. I'm going to draw the curtains. Oh! Someone hanging! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Uh, they just put a spoon in Sam's mouth. Surely you would know. <laughs> Sammy the Grouch. <laughs> okay, so apparently in the 30s, Farmer killed his six children in the house and then hung himself. Anyone that goes up near the house, apparently gets hung, gets killed. So that scene, scene and Dean. Scene and Dean, fuck. Sam and Dean are um, now at the house, at the cottage, investigating, seeing what. Looks like old man Murdoch was a bit of a tagger during his time. And after his time, too. The reverse cross has been used by Satanists for centuries, but this sigil of sulfur didn't show up in San Francisco until the 60s. Huh. That's exactly why you never get laid. Hey, what about this one? You seen this one before? No. I have. Symbols. Somewhere. It's paint. Seems pretty fresh, too. I don't know, Sam. You know, I hate to agree with authority figures of any kind, but the cops might be right about this one. What? It's a bit of a prank rather than an actual true story. And true thing. Oh, oh, cut. Just a couple humans. What are you guys doing here? What the hell are you doing here? Uh, we belong here. We're professionals. Professional what? Paranormal investigators. Oh, no. Paranormal investigators. There you go. Take a look at that, boys. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ed Zedmore and Harry Spangler. Yeah. Hellhoundslayer.com. You guys run that website. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're huge fans. Hell and uh, we know who you guys are, too. Oh, yeah? <clears throat> Amateurs. Looking for ghosts and cheap thrills. 
Yeah. So, if you guys don't mind, we're trying to conduct a serious scientific investigation here. Mm -hmm. Yeah? What do you got so far? Well, here, why don't you tell them about EMF? EMF? Electromagnetic field? Mm-hmm. Spectral entities can cause energy fluctuations that can be read with an EMF bring detector. Them, bless them. Like this bad boy right here. Whoa, whoa. That's 2.8 MJ. It's hot in here. Wow. Huh. So have you guys ever really seen a ghost before? Or? Once. We were, uh, we were investigating this old house. And we saw a vase fall right off the table by itself. Well, we, we, we didn't actually, we didn't actually see it, but we heard it. And something like that, it, uh, <laughs> it changes you. Yeah. I think I get the picture. We should go, let them get back to work. Yeah, you should. Sam? <laughs> yeah, work. <laughs> I'm sorry, that pot we smoked gave me the giggles. Ooh. They're professionals. And this so was it looks a bust. like the story. All right, story for all we know, those hellhound boys boo -boo. made up the whole thing. There was no such man who killed his six yeah. children in that house. I say we find ourselves a bar and some beers and leave the legend to the locals. However, paranormal activity. <laughs> what the? <laughs> oh, sounds pranking. That's all you got? Sweet. Oh god. The pranking commences. Oh, more stupid teenagers daring each other to go into the house. Why would you do that? I wouldn't. Would you go into some creepy old house like that? Especially if it's got like chicken's feet hanging up. I'd go in there with Sam and Ding. Like attached to them. Like, don't leave me. Look, there's a jar there. Just pick the jar up. <gasps> The man. Oh, good God. I think she's been hung. Oh. Rats. I hate rats. <laughs> You'd rather it was a ghost? Yes. <laughs> Didn't rather it was a ghost than rats. Oh my God, behind you, behind you, behind you, behind you. Come on, come on. It did disappear eventually. Jesus. He's angry. He's an angry, angry, angry spirit. Hey, we should just go. No. Would John Edward go? No. We've lost the cops. Let's find our center and get some work done, okay? All right. Damn thing out of my face! Sweet Lord of the Rings. Run! Go, 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 go. Sam and Dean ran from it. What the hell is this symbol? It's bugging the hell out of me. This whole damn job's bugging me. I thought the legend said that Mordecai only goes after chicks. It does. All right. Well, I mean, that explains why he went after you, but why me? Hilarious. Now he's imprisoned in the house for eternity. Where the hell is this going? I don't know, but I think I'm gonna just figure out where it all started. And the symbol is on an album. So they made it up. Now it's got out of control. Not funny little shit. So it seems now, every time they change the story on the website, the ghosty thing seems to be taking the form of what new information is being given. Hey, I'm back. So what turned, hey, well, you? what started as uh, a out. joke is now, so I think I is now yeah. manifested into actual Opa. real. Yeah, a, uh, a Tibetan thought form. Yeah, no, I know. It's all this. And once you get dressed, I'll go grab something to eat. Itching powder. <laughs> Sam's clothes. Thanks. Honestly, little boys. <laughs> Dude, what's your problem? 
Yeah. <laughs> it's got an itch in areas. Okay, wait a second. You're trying to tell me that just because people believe in Mordecai, he's real? I don't know, maybe. People believe in Santa Claus. How come I'm not getting hooked up every Christmas? Because you're a bad person. And because of this. I mean, I don't know, but it might be enough to bring a tulpa to life. Would explain why it keeps changing. Right. As the legend changes, people think different things, so Mordecai himself changes, like a game of telephone. That would also explain why the rocks all didn't work. Yeah, because he's not a traditional spirit, per se. Yeah. OK, so why don't we just uh, get this spirit sigil thingy off the wall and off the website? Well, it's not that simple. You see, once tulpas are created, they take on a life of their own. Great. All right, so if he really is a thought form, how the hell are we supposed to kill an idea? Well, it's not going to be easy with these guys helping us. Uh, so they drew one of the symbols they drew is something that is a special symbol which, if everyone thinks about something, it's a little bit like Freddy Krueger. You dream about him, if you believe him, he's real. And so all these people that are online reading about Mordecai and reading about what he's been doing and what he did and all his hauntings is making find a copy him stronger and stronger. And when yeah. somebody changes the story, it happens. <laughs> Be real. You did this? <laughs> You're a friggin' jerk. Oh yeah. Bloody camera literally just died, and I don't know what you heard, why we're saying <laughs> Sam and Dean are playing those little boys. So Sam and Dean have told them t to shut the website down. They know that he's they're not going to shut the website down. So instead, they've told them that he, in fact, shot himself with a gun. His Come on, petrified man. gun you will laughter in kill him. No, you're way too tense. Did they post it yet? We've learned from reputable sources that Mordecai Murdoch has a fatal fear of firearms. All right. How long do we wait? Long enough for the new story to spread and the legend to change. I figure by nightfall, iron rounds will work on the sucker. Sweet. <laughs> you did. Oh, I did. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> Sam super glued his hand to the beer bottle. Oh. I posted it, but the server didn't take it. Oh, quick run. Burn the house down. Oh, he's ugly, isn't he? Dude, I get the munchies. Gentlemen. Hey guys. Should we tell him? Hey, right, might as well. You know, just gonna read about it in the trade. So this morning we got a phone call from a very important Hollywood producer. Oh yeah, wrong number. No smart ass. He read all about the Hell House on our website and wants to option the motion picture rights. Maybe even have us write it. And create the RPG. Mm. The what? Role playing game. Right. Little lingo for ya. Anywho, uh, excuse us, we're off to La La Land. Well, congratulations, guys. That sounds really great. Yeah, that, that's awesome. Best of luck to you. Oh, yeah, luck. It's got nothing to do with it. It's about talent, you know, sheer, unabashed talent. <laughs> idiots. Absolute Later. idiots. <laughs> See you around. Hope not. Wow. I have a confession to make. What's that? I, uh, I was the one who called them and told them I was a producer. Oh, <laughs> Sam. <laughs> well, I'm the one who put the dead fish in their back seat. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Truce? No. No truce. Yeah, truce. At least for the next hundred miles. <laughs> Oh, 
Right, so that was season one, episode 17, Hell House. Um, it's quite a fun one, actually. So it was ju just obviously basically a little bit like Freddy Krueger, things like that. If you believe, believe in something enough and enough people believe, then it can come true. It can manifest your energy. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Don't forget to comment below what you thought of that episode. I find it a little bit weird that they didn't mention Meg or their dad, really. Um, I love the fact that they were playing tricks on each other, little pranks on each other. I think they do that pretty much anyway in real life um, from what I've seen behind the scenes of them, you know, making Supernatural. Anyway, don't forget, subscribe to my channel, come and join, and I will see you all next time. Bye.